And this is your Random Thoughts Sports Update, and I'm Mark Moses. The St. Louis Cardinals looked like they were going to roll to a win in Miami last night after scoring three runs in the top of the first inning. And then Marlins pitching took over. Cardinals starting pitcher Kyle Loesch, who's been good so far this year for the Cardinals, took the loss, only going four and a third, giving up four runs on six hits. Loesch dropped his record to 13-5 and five on the season. Chris Volstead got the win for the Fish, and all-star shortstop Hanley Ramirez had a go-ahead three-run homer in the second. The Redbirds are now four out of the wildcard chase, and now seven behind the Cubs in the NL Central. Speaking of those first-place Cubs, Chicago's game last night at Turner Field was rained out. So today the Cubs and Braves will play two, starting with the first game slated for a 12-20 start. Jason Marquis will take the mound for the Cubs with a 7-7 record on the season, going up against Charlie Morton for the Braves. Game 2 will be later tonight as Rich Harden will go against Jorge Campolo. The Cubs will play the finale tomorrow and then move on to Florida for a three-game set over the weekend. Now let's not forget about the Brew Crew as Milwaukee hasn't lost since Prince Fielder got into a fight in the Brewers' dugout last weekend. Fielder, who is now on a tear, hit his 27th homer of the season last night as the wildcard leading Brewers defeated the Padres 5-2 in San Diego. Jeff Supon got the victory and now is 8-7 on the season. Cubs lead the division as they pretty much have all season with a 71 and 47 record. Brewers sit in second with a 69 and 51 record, only three games behind, and currently leading the wild card. Cardinals are still live in third place with a 66 and 56 record. Over on the AL side, every day now it seems it's Minnesota in first place, then Chicago, then Minnesota again. Well, starting last night, it was Minnesota in first place with a half game lead as they hosted the Yankees. Now going straight to the ninth inning, the Twins were down three in the bottom of the ninth when Delman Young hit his sixth home run of the season off Yankees closer Mariano Rivera, an opposite field three-run shot to tie the game. The score stayed that way until the top of the twelfth inning when Mr. Tabloids himself, Alex Rodriguez, hit his 27th homer of the season, and it was also his first hit of the game, going one for six in the game. To keep the Yankees on top four, good. New York added two more runs in the inning and held on for a 6-3 victory. With the loss by the Twins, it opened the door for Chicago to sneak back into first place. The Sox, who are coming off a disappointing split against the world champion Red Sox over the weekend, opened a three-game series at home against the Royals. Javier Vasquez pitched his best game of the season, going eight strong innings, only giving up five hits and striking out ten, as the Sox crushed the Royals 9-0 in the opener. The Sox added home runs from A.J. Brzezinski, Jermaine Dye, and Nick Swisher in the win. So the standings for today look like this. The White Sox now are in first place with a 66-52 and record. Twins are only a half game out at 66-53. and And the Royals now move into last place in the standings. And that is all your Random Thoughts Sports Update.